Okay, so this is the after the storm report, and you can see that we got sunny skies going on and some clouds, and, and the winds are still pretty nasty out here from time to time. You can see a steady wind right now, probably maybe, I don't know, 25, 30 miles per hour. I don't know what that is. I'm not a speed meter reader. <laughs> but anyways, uh, from time to time we still get some pretty heavy gust of wind. Here comes one now. <laughs> but you can see there's a board on the ground there. That's from that little gate that goes back into our whatever that thing is back there. And over here you can see like tons and tons of limbs on the ground over here and there's some limbs on the roof of this building you can see all that and there's a limb that limb was down last night and here I'm walking down our balcony but there you can see the view down the sidewalk of this tree right here lost a lot of limbs on the ground but Really, there's like only minor damage in our immediate neighborhood that I can see. We're not allowed to drive around out on the uh, roads right now because they want to keep it for emergency vehicles only. So we have a curfew until 6 p.m. tonight. And then we can go outside. And you can see there in the road is our car still in the same place. I had all these scenarios running through my head like the water was going to get high enough to make our car float around or or uh you know the winds would blow all of our cars and smash them against each other there you can see some more limbs on the ground The rest of the place, there's some leaves and limbs on the ground right there. Kind of like clogging up the drainage. So if it were to rain right now, that would be pretty nasty. But really, there's not much to show you. Just a, just a regular old day. Sun's coming out. I know that there's a our drain pipe from the side of the building got blown off but that's easy to it just shoves right back into the other piece and that's really about all that happened for like I said as far as I can see the rest of the state up and down the coast east and west is devastating and here look we got our living room back we we took the tarp off the window and that um turned out okay the windows stayed together and we got our living room there's steve everybody he's okay i didn't throw him out into the wind and there's nyla and um our living room is back and here's our you can see we have power and the air conditioning is fabulous and here's here's charlie charlie rode out the storm in the room with us here. This is the back room where we actually had our, dragged our mattresses and stuff back here uh, last night when it got really, really bad, or before it got really, really bad. We brought our mattresses back in here. And then we had this set up in here. This is the walk-in closet. But we had this set up in here so the cat carriers were all down and open so the cats could go in them if they wanted to. And then we actually had our mattresses along this wall. Yeah, I'm sure you care about that. And then the only problem that we had, which is amazing, is we had a leak right here at the top of our blinds. There was a leak dripping down here. and You can see the water in the bucket down here. That's the only problem that we had. And maybe some of this other carpet's a little bit wet from wind being blown against the door here. But other than that, we're good. So there's my after the storm report. And uh, when we get a chance to get out in the neighborhood, 
and see some of the other stuff. I'll take pictures and give you more updates as we go along here. All right, well, again, thanks everybody for your prayers and thanks for, you know, talking me through all this. And Steve and I are going to be okay, and hopefully, there's not another hurricane anytime soon.